in this video i will show you how you can construct a scatter plot for multiple points multiple conditions in microsoft excel and my final plot look like this here is my hypothetical data set of house sale prices here is the distance price pool 0 1 indicates having a pool or not in the house size of the house number of bedrooms in the house area of the house this uh, and garage 0 and 1 indicates absence or presence of garage in the house distance means uh, the distance of the house from the main city of the house, main city of so uh, i want to show you how what is the general relationship between distance and price for this i have selected these two columns go to insert click on the scatter plots and click scatter here is the general relationship between distance and prices this indicates that as the distance from the city increases we are having low prices for our houses now i want to construct this for the what is its impact on presence or absence of garage in the house I am deleting this scatter plot and select garage. Go to sort and filter. Sort from smallest to largest. Expand the selection means we are selecting, uh, we are sorting this garage column according to the rest of the data. So sort sorting this column will give you these values. Now select distance and prices. I am just highlighting these zeros and ones to ensure you how the data looks differently for zero and one now select distance and price for the absence of garage now go to insert click on scatter plots and scatter now click on the rest of the data for which the garage is present and select all the values of the data click on copy and select the graph now go to paste option paste special and here don't click on new points if you click on new points this will add points but doesn't change the color of the new added points select on new series now series in series name is first no no don't click this because we do not have any options or column headings in this data set for the second data set category x value is in the first column yes distance is present in the first column we have selected now click on ok this will add new points in our data now i want to add some legends that will indicate which data set is for 0 and which data set is for 1 now click on the chart tools design add chart elements go to legends right now these are not the true legends which i want to show you for this data set the previous blue points are for our original data set for which the garage was not present click select data and go to edit options for the first series just write garage no means zero means no garage in the house click ok now click on the second series and edit here you can see there is no series name because there was no headings in the uh, column so write garage yes because one indicates presence of garage in the house and ok here is the true legend so far data now you can add access titles 
on the x-axis we have distance of houses and on the y-axis primary vertical we have prices of houses so you can add prices in thousands of dollars here you can add add title above chart and you can write here scatter plot 0 versus 1 ok now you want to add trend line in your data just click on the points and right click on your points add data label will add data labels and add trend line will add a trend line you can see a dotted line you can change the points or display equation on chart here is the equation regression equation for these points you can drag and uh, drop this regression line wherever you want click on the red points and again right click and add trend line this will add trend line for the red points and if you want to add display equation on the chart just from 10 line uh, settings click on the display equation on chart option this will display another equation from on the chart and if you want to show it or highlight it drag and place the equation wherever you want on the chart this is the final chart and you can add um, or other things according to your choice you can format uh, the colors of this chart according to your choice thank you all.